Shout out to Fuchsia's TV. It's your boy, GS11, the gas or not. Yeah. Okay, we, we live with it right now, man. Let the streets know who we got on Fuchsia's TV. GS11, the gas or not. That's, that's what it is, man. The name GS11. You know what I'm saying? Where, where do you get that name from, man? You said Cashinot? Gastronaut. Gastronaut, I'm sorry. Yeah, uh, GS11 it was uh, like a nickname that my, uh, my uncle gave me back in the day when I was little. It just stuck with me. Where? What about yeah, the Gastronaut so, joint? Uh, it was just so different, uh, the clothing line that I'm, that I'm trying to brand and shit like that. So, you know, that's where the name came from. That's what's up, man. So, you know, we're going to take it back for the people that's going to watch this. And, you know what I'm saying? They probably, this your, this their first time seeing you. Where are you originally from? I'm originally from Dublin County. Okay, it's Dublin County. It's a small town, yeah. Yeah, so. Carolina. Dublin County. So, like, what what is it like growing up out there? Um, you know, growing up in Dublin County, it was just like uh, growing up in any other, like, like little small community, uh, you know, Everybody was out there going to get it, man. It's a, you know, a lot of like shaking and moving going on out there. Got yeah. you, you know what I'm saying? Your hard working people, and you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, we popping, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Duplin County. It's a lot of a lot money of out there, bro. A lot it's, of what? it's a lot of money out there in Duplin. Yeah, most definitely there's a lot of bread out there. Yeah, because you want, I mean, you would think that Raleigh, Charlotte, the bigger cities be, that's where most of the money at, but yeah. in a small town like Duplin, yeah, but they love the country, though. Yeah. Yeah. Most definitely. Did it coming up out there? You know what I'm saying in in the you know in Duplin County, bro. Did it make you ground harder? Uh, yeah, because you you know what I'm saying you want to be like everybody else. You know what I'm saying you want to be able to stunt, ride clean, and you know just everything else. So you know, yeah, yeah it was definitely like hustlers out there to get it. You know what I'm saying. Yeah. So, I mean, what's what cities is rocking with you? You know what I'm saying right now, like heavy in, in the Carolinas. Uh, pretty much all over. Like I'm, I'm heavy. In, I'm heavy everywhere. Like all North Carolina, everywhere. Like yeah, you know about GS11. Where, where? Yes, sir. Okay. So when when did the music thing pop off though? When did you decide you was gonna, you know, make some money in this shit? Uh, probably about a year or two ago. I was uh, you know, just in the studio cooking up and just just felt like it was all about that time and it was just you know perfect time. Just we just we just went for it. Yeah. Yeah, who, who was some of the who was some of your inspirations when you was coming up? Uh, I want to say like uh, Rick Ross. Uh, yeah, I like the Ti. Uh, Jeezy was pretty dope. Uh, was Scarface, you know, different different artists. Yeah. Jay Z. Yeah. Are you signed right now? Yeah, I'm signed to Heavy Grooves. Okay. Yeah. So how did that come about? Um, just wanted to start a label. So it's your, it's your joint? It's, yeah, 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 I'm you, C, yeah, you I'm CEO, CEO yeah, yeah. Okay, that's what's and up. And an artist, yeah. That's what it is, man. So you got any other artists on your, on your, on your label that you pushing? Uh, yeah, uh, Poop Dotto, uh, he run with me, we like Gunny Clip, uh, you know what I'm saying? He on a lot of my music and stuff too, we working. Most definitely. Yeah. Now, I, I see that you dropped something with, um, with the plug daughter out of Raleigh. You know what I'm saying? She going up right now, flex. It's at 16K in three weeks. Oh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? You know, how did y'all collab on that joint? Uh, basically, we be going to the same studio, and um, I had I had did the record, and we just we just crossed, crossed paths, and I was just like, you know, I just felt like she was the one for it, and I just, you know, reached out to her, and, you know. Yeah. We did it, yeah. Who, who's some of the um, NC producers that you rocking with right now in the, in, you know, uh, in the Carolina? Just, yeah, well, just as far as, uh, for the most part, it's just Tone Red, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, that's pretty much who I'm going rocking with for the most part. But you just keeping it in, in house? In yeah, house, yeah, 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 for sure. Shout out to Tone Red, too. Yeah. So what you look to accomplish, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's early, in you know, early in 2021 right now, man. What you looking to accomplish in the future for me? Uh, I'm just I'm just trying to get my foot all the way in the door, man, and just, you know, just take take over by storm, just, you know. Yeah. Yeah, just do my work too. Right. And we just we just mentioned that, you know what I'm saying, you had a, a feature with the plug daughter, bro. Is there anybody else that you, you know what I'm saying, look to work with in the future? Uh in the future, uh 
don't know. I think about like maybe like Young Dolph, somebody like that. Uh, yeah. Gotti. I don't know. I just, you know, different artists, man. Most. And, and whoever trying to work with me, too. Yeah. yeah. And I see that you, you know what I'm saying? You you definitely invested in your career, bro. You know what I'm saying? You got the the look of a rapper and all that, bro. Like, yeah. you know what I'm saying? You got the real, got the jewelry and all that, bro. Like, can you talk about how important it is to invest in your brand? Uh, yeah, it's most definitely. It's just like, uh, like for instance, when I try to be out, I, I try to have some gas on, you know what I'm saying? That's the, that's the movement. And that's like what I'm trying to put out there. And just as well as like 11 grooves, it's, you know, it's what you invest in and you gotta, you know, put it out there. People got to see it, you know, get familiar with it. So, yeah. yeah. Most definitely, most definitely. So, it's a lot of rappers that's doing their thing, you know what I'm saying, that's just rapping, you know what I'm saying? What's some of the things that's gonna make you stand out from the other people that's doing, that's trying to make music in this industry? Um, ain't none of my songs gonna sound the same. Everything you hear is gonna be different. Yeah. Everything. When when people listen to your music, bro, like what message you trying to put it out there? Um, it's just like I'm just giving you my life, like you know what I'm saying, my my story, like you know, my day to day, what I see, what I do, you know. Yeah. Facts though. Yeah. So you know, like you know, what I'm saying Miami, Open, Atlanta, Dallas, you know, what I'm saying Houston, all that, and the Carolinas, bro. This shit, you know, what I'm saying the governor not playing that, bro. Do you feel like the pandemic is kind of like you know, major? I mean, your progress. Slow down? Uh, not really, because if you a hustler, you're going to go where the money at. Yeah. So, you know, that's how I look at it. So talk about the project uh, that you got out right now on Spirit Road. Yeah, it's Gastronaut Season 1. Just, uh, like I said, it's probably like 16 tracks. It's just like, it's dope. It's just, like I said, it's party music. It's stuff for the, the ladies, uh, that trap talk. Like, you know, like, it's, it's a very diverse mixtape. It is dope. Yeah. When, yeah. when did that uh, tape come out? Uh, was, uh, I think it was August the 16th. Okay. Yeah. August 16th. What you think, like, how you going to try to, you know, with this new tape that's coming out, like, what you what you going to do to, you know, be different from that first mixtape? Uh, I don't know. Like like I said, just probably, like, uh, you know, you just, as life progresses, you just go through things and you just write about it, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Well, talk about like the Carolina strip clubs, man. Like, what's the yeah, the well, yeah, we in one right now, Diamond District. You know what I'm saying? Shout out the Lofts. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, um, popping like this. This is the spot right here. Yeah. yeah, most definitely. So when you be coming up with your music in the studio, man, what's your process be like? Uh, like I like I like a good solid like hard beat baseline got to hit. Uh, you know what I'm saying? And just like I, I, I come up with the hook and then that, that just inspired me to write the verse. Like, yeah. Okay. So, you know, like, you know what I'm saying? Miami, Open, Atlanta, Dallas, you know what I'm saying? Houston, all that. In the Carolinas, bro, this shit, you know what I'm saying? The governor not playing that, bro. Do you feel like the pandemic is kind of like, you know, major your process, I mean, your progress slowed down? Uh, not really, because if you a hustler, you're going to go where the money at. Yeah. So, you know, that's how I look at it. Right. So what's next for you? Um, just like a more music, uh, you know, just like I said, videos, just content, all that good stuff, like, you know, it's about to get, get familiar with me. That's all. Real talk. So you just yes, eleven. So you just heavy you got any other like businesses or anything? Oh, nah, I'm just pushing this music, man. Yeah. Most definitely. All right. Well if people try to book you for a show or feature or whatnot, man. Where can they follow you at? Um, just hit me on my IG, GS11 underscore official.